you know, you can do a beautiful job on a, on a rifle and the, the color could be crap. I mean, you've got crap. So if, if in the future you're working on building from a blank, you ought to be thinking about saving a piece of the stock mm -hmm. and playing around colors. Now, when you're tired, too tired to do anything, to play around with colors. So what I did is I used a couple of things that I do in my shop. One is a yellow dye, it's a water-based dye. I put it on there earlier. Right. Yeah. And then this is Kibler's Iron Nitrate on top of yellow dye. This is Aqua Fortis, which I would not recommend on your all stocks if they're being red maple unless you've got a really dense piece of it. Yeah, that works is, good. That works. Aqua Fortis works good on sugar maple, but you still have to kill it afterwards. Right. But red maple, I guarantee you, it will turn the stock black. And then this is iron nitrate without yellow. So I'm just experimenting. So to get the iron nitrate to work. Well, time, time out. So we all have red maple? Yes. Yeah. From what I've seen, yes. Uh, except for Walnut. John over yeah, here. Yeah, Walnut. I think, I think you have a hard maple stock. So. One thing I bet you Mike's had the same problem. You put this, uh, you put this stain on this heat heat up stain on, and you think, man, I got this whole damn thing covered. It's covered, man. It looks good. Well, I already know that I didn't get it covered, so I'll wet up a dauber with some stain because it you know, happens all the time, right? Especially on a carb rifle. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to take the heat gun and we're going to warm it up. And it's going to change colors. It's going to it'll blood, green. No, it'll blush brown. Rusty brown, rusty nail brown. Ooh. Too much brown means we're burning. You can throw up. Uh, it's black. You can, you, can darken, you can actually darken it with this heat gun more than you can. You can make it lighter or darker, but whatever you do, just try to keep it the same. I used to do it with a propane torch. That's when you can start turning black. <laughs> just burn marks all over. I switched, once I switched over to a heat gun, that was that, That's the way to go. I tried kitchen stove, I uh, tried my wood stove, it'll all work, but that's the best way to go right there. When you apply the stain, is it best to stain in sweeping motions for uniformity or well, I just use a dauber myself. Dauber is a one center box I've also used the one inch white kitchen paint brush. Swap it out. If you could keep going with the iron nitrate with the heat, is, is that when it'll go black or real dark? It, I've found that the iron nitrate kibler stuff that it's going to go so far in that that stop. Yep. No matter how much heat you put to it, it's just, you're just going to, I mean, with the heat down for it, it's just, that's it. That's all going to do. I've never tried second coats with it, and your, uh, this iron nitrate real sensitive to what variety of wood you have. Every wood so far that I've messed with, I've only been using this stuff for a year and a half, two years, probably. Yeah, I think but that's what you sent me. I didn't look at it. Every, every stock for me has turned out a different color. I'm curious to say, because I got the Aqua Fortis, mm -hmm. it will go black and stay black? Or yeah, go it's going to smoke you up. You don't want to use it at all. Okay. I got the iron nitrate. Yeah, there's, there's yeah. plenty in there. There's, there's tons of it. Okay. I, mean, I do this professionally, and I've, I got two, two bottles of iron nitrate, and I just got through my first one. That's it. I just I used one of those. I probably would build 10 guns off of that. Oh, hell. Okay. I just started on my second bottle. 
and he sells a tannic acid to it that you put on first and blush it just like this and then you follow up with an iron nitrate just like he's doing and it'll turn your sock really black and you gotta rub you gotta rub the hell out of it with some uh, steel wool or don't use that. Don't use aqua fortis. I'm using water just to bottle bomb. I'm using okay, water just, just to highlight the colors. Okay. You're not supposed to finish off. All right, good. Don't use it. That's As a nice. red maple. I see he could uh, follow oh, in with heat above. Yeah, if, and if, I'm, ex if I'm experimenting, yeah. Let's, let's, let's let that water dry off there and then okay. we'll. Uh, There's your. Uh, there's your AF right there. Yeah. What was the last one you did over here? This was iron nitrate without the yellow. Yeah, same as this. But it see, yellow. Well, what, what I like about color. this is it gives you these gold undertones. Yes. Yep. And Mike is absolutely correct. I didn't bring my, my favorite stain, which is my overcoat stain, which is uh, called Lancaster maple. Yes, you did. It's right there. This is maple, isn't it? That's like that's, that's, that's it. Here, wait, that I got it. I think I got some. This is the this is the good design here. It's got red tones on it. And browns. Probably oh, the red background right now. I'm after it. Like oranges if possible. Now this stuff here, that's that's good. Oh, oh that, that's yeah, that's going to work out fine. But that's three different stains. Mm -hmm. And I've gone with a cocktail of five. Yep. And you want to play with, I see, I don't like this color, this, this AF on this, on this piece of wood at all. And you could add some to it. See how dark it got? I mean, it's too dark. You don't see any figure. It's just not much there. That's bringing you the red song. But this will also keep going darker as it ages. Yeah. But you, I I always kill it with a baking soda slurry. It's unnerving. You'll take your nice stock after you've done all the work to it, stain it with aqua fortis, and you take it to the kitchen sink and you make up your baking been, uh, powder slurry. slurry. Smear oh, yeah. it all over oh, the yeah. stock. Let it sit for a little Whist while. It'll bubble Whist because of the, the reaction with the, the acid in the aqua fortis. And then you take it under the running sink and rinse your stock off of the water, which is kind of unnerving. And then hit it with the group three synthetic oils. No, no, that's no. for that's for metal. So after at, that's you neutralize your. Uh, you have to neutralize that out before it's that way. That that's going to be a pretty color right there. Yeah. That's just yellow yeah. and. There's no acid involved in that at all. Right. That, that's, that's a pretty color. That's going to be really nice. That's there. what I want. I like the oranges. Well, you got to be able to. Where's the Where's the yellow? You keep talking yellow. The yellow is right there, and it's a water base. Mm -hmm. I'm there's the whole right there's the, the there's the product the right there, yep. and then you go back over with the red to trans mm -hmm. okay. Amber. They sell it Woodcraft. You can get it on eBay. That's a nice color, and you can keep adding. And my daughter puts some polyurethane over that. That's why that's. That girl, I'll tell you, you gotta watch her every minute. <laughs> so anyway, what you do is you play around with colors until you get one you like and you remember it and you write the formula down. And, and just be, always remember that you can keep adding different things to a certain point. Until you see it. Right, then I can do that when we're done. Just yellow and you put on that that's kibber. Yeah, that's kibber stuff there. That looks pretty good. You can see we're adding that base color really helps, doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, this the spot with the the red and the yellow, just the dyes, that, that's gonna need more color to it. But that yellow, that base coat gives you a little bit of dimension if you your figure, yep. and that's what you're looking for. And yeah, that aqua isn't looking very cool, even with the overlay of the, 
the red Lancaster. Which color scheme will make the curly pop out? That looks close. Yeah, this is uh, this is nothing but iron nitrate here, and then a coat of that Lancaster dye over the top. That's that's without the yellow. I mean, that's a lot of tiger there. Yeah. And this is uh, this is what the yellow base over here. Huh. You always put the, put the tongue oil on your on your Yeah, it's corn. Formby's tongue oil finish. That's what that's what I use. Okay. We used to watch Formby's back in the '70s. And you just keep putting it on until you're satisfied. Uh, the first coat I put on until it won't take any more, and it may take you an hour and a half of rubbing this stuff in the gun stock until it stops sucking it up. And then I. Uh, Take a paper towel and take off whatever extra you can wipe off and then let it sit till the next day. Then one coat a day after that. What'll happen too, guys, is when you, uh, the next day, you're gonna have some tackies on the stock, some dust tackies and, and drip runs. If you'll, if you'll apply it with a piece of four out. Not uh, steel, wool. steel wool? Yes. Steel wool. Apply it with a piece of four out. Uh, what that'll do is that'll knock all those dust dust bunnies off there. There's always going to be some there. And any drips that you've got, it'll dissolve those. And you put that on, and then I wipe it with a wet damp or with a dry cloth, like a paper towel, and I put the corner. And it'll it'll set up in two or three hours, and well, leave it a little longer if you let it get hard. It's fine too. That stuff has a hardener in it, which is good. Formby's has, Formby's has a hardener, yes. How about true oil? Same basic principle. Uh, it's got more of a hardener in it. Good too or much, bad? Too much gloss for me. Too much gloss. And it's not as durable as my, it, has been my experience. It seems to be chippy, too, doesn't it? My, it's too glossy and chippy, and it's not, it wears. Right? rifle wrist where you hold it you'll wear that through oil off in no time you guys ever uh, aspire to do some more of this kind of work it's nice to when you when you work your stock you save the feet you're going to have spare pieces and those should be your staying practice pieces and just keep messing around with it until you get a color you want i suggest sanding it out pretty good before you use it start experimenting with whatever piece sand it pretty well like Similar to how your stock is finished before you start. I mean, you can get some rough idea with a rough cut piece of wood, but uh, it absorbs the stain different depending on how, what the porosity of your wood is. If during sanding, you're gonna make everything a whole lot smoother, and it's gonna look a little different, and you know, the rough cut piece of wood's gonna take stain completely different, but it'll give you some idea of tone. Yeah, yeah, it's just what's this moving? It's just the iron nitrate. Yeah, iron, iron nitrate plus this uh, that. That. Laurel Mountain Lancaster. That's what those two are. So, so Pat, you see why I don't I don't really I'm not a big fan of I get it. Yeah. It's hard. I'm sorry, but yeah. It's just hard to uh, it's hard to describe why you don't like it. Yeah, see it. But see I, it. I can show you. When you use the tannic acid, do you use it with the yellow or some of that? Well, you can. Without. This, 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 this